My name is Gail Peck, and i am a been a collector and a dealer of antiques, and particularly Red Wing stoneware, stoneware of all kinds, for almost 50 years now. I specialize in the older Red Wing stoneware made in Red Wing, Minnesota, probably, well, they started in 1877, and uh, three different companies operated out of Red Wing, and it's all considered Red Wing until uh, they switched pretty much to vases, art pottery, and dinnerware in the late 30s on to 1967 when they closed. So uh, my particular interest lies in the Red Wing kitchenware, pitchers and bowls and uh, different products that they made, the heyday being in the 1920s uh, before refrigeration, electricity was widespread kept cold foods cold and hot foods hot and uh, these bowls and pitchers are are prime examples mm -hmm. of uh, good quality uh, red wing was known for its quality mm -hmm. and uh, they were one of the biggest largest stoneware companies in the united states um, mm -hmm. competition out of illinois and ohio but uh, Red Wing had a large share of the, the market. Another very popular uh, product that Red Wing made were what these, these are called cherry band pitchers. In the mold, there's like cherries that go around the top and the bottom, cherry bands. And um, these are made in three sizes. This is the tallest. And the sharper the mold and the better the color, commands more more money, obviously. Uh, this particular size, the larger size, they didn't make as many, so the mold is still sharp on, uh, on this size, usually, because they didn't use the mold uh, over and over and over and over again.